Hello and welcome into an episode of An Indie Delight. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This is a series that focuses on looking at free indie games in the hopes that you will also go play them. Today I present to you Uproot by Ant B225, a puzzle platformer, a genre that I love, where we play as an onion trying to search for some sunlight. So you and I, let's solve some puzzles together. The onion is thinking about sunlight. It reminds me of the little sprites or little faces from No Face, like little No Faces walking around, little legs. So we walk around. Is that like little pictures of sunlight? Can we jump? Oh, we can jump. <gasps> Look at his little legs floating around. His little onion. Oh, okay. Uh, floating onion. <laughs> oh, okay. So we drag this along. <gasps> oh. So we only have a certain amount to go by. Interesting. Can we click it back? We can. Now I'm going to take a risk here and I'm going to go down just in case. Oh, oh, it's a reset point. But can technically, can we go up here? We can. So you don't, you don't need all of it. But I do like the fact that this thing twists inside back. Does it grow a flower again? Oh, you can move it anywhere you want to. Ah, <gasps> that is pretty cool. Look at that. So you can come here, right? And then take this one right here. That is amazing. I like the root system because you can redirect the roots if you wanted to. <gasps> yes. That is, I like that idea. It's clever. I wonder if you can go here and then maybe build the platform as you go up. Oh, you can even use it. You don't have to even wait. Oh, okay. Hold on. I have to wait for the platform to come to me. There you go. I make my own like uh, ways around. Oh, okay, I think I did this wrong. Hold on. Uh, I think maybe there was supposed to be one more. It's like a draw your own kind of solution to it. Okay. Ooh, it even goes to the ground. Okay. No, 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 no. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. But can I jump? Ah, oh, ah, oh, okay. I can jump while you're doing it. That's pretty innovative. Sometimes in these puzzle games, I tend to overthink things. And sometimes the solution is right there. Even if we, you know, even if you don't think about it for like a second, it's just like the solution is generally right there. That's too much. No, uh, all right. The wood is 26. So that means I need to go up a little bit here and make sure that my character. There's enough room to jump down. Uh, this is weird. Oh, okay. But the problem with this is, how am I supposed to get through there? Yeah. Maybe if there's like a little platform for me to fall on. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if this one, if you can have something on top of it while it's moving. You can. All right. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I could jump. Up. Oh, okay, we can. Yes, 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 yes. Hopefully we, could, we do get to find some sun with our, our little onion here. And a mushroom. What does a mushroom do? Are you my enemy? Oh, it's a bouncy shroom. Maybe if I go... Ooh, just just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit that he didn't make it there. Um, even the last possible chunk. Ooh, okay. So definitely... It definitely involves this. From what I can see. All right. There you go. You have to jump at the absolute last possible second for it. Oh, you can push the mushroom. That makes a lot more sense. It's not just stationary. Oh, okay. It would be cool to have, like, maybe uh, retractable mushrooms to go with you, you know? Mm. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, wait. I wonder... Yes, okay. I didn't notice that you can go on you can even go underground. It lets you really do a lot of, 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 of your own things. That is pretty cool. Okay, you're an enemy? Oh, oh, okay. A caterpillar that is like a, a switch, I'm guessing. 
But why? Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, wait, I need to be here so that way it activates. Wait, can I just take you off? Oh. Every side has one of their own. All right, I get you. All right. It's not, it doesn't feel too punishing. It doesn't feel too challenging at all. Like, uh, it's, it's just like a, just enough. Which is really good. Because you, you want it to feel rewarding at the same time, but not too annoying. Wait. I'm an idiot. I didn't need that. I didn't know why I didn't think of just doing this in the first place. You know? Oh, fork me. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. No fussing around here. Give me the flowers that I'm due. Alright, this has to be a way to the top, right? <gasps> we found the sunlight. Look how thrilled he is. I'm assuming that he's thrilled. He's like, I am out here now. I am with the sun. I am uprooted. <laughs> that was really cute. Look at him. Oh, this is his bed in the beginning. It's so cute. Looking at the sun. With little mushrooms growing around and little flowers. Oh, that was amazing. I enjoyed that one. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of An Indie Delight. Your company is always wonderful to have. Today we looked at Ant B225's Uproot, and I quite had a great time with it, especially the little puzzling platforms. I really like the mechanics of using your roots to basically make your own way through the level. And I feel like there were some moments where you can use the roots to your advantage, where it gave you the things necessary to complete the level, but there were moments where you can just use the roots to get around it, and I, I, I love that. Um, so yes, if you would like to play this game, the link will be in the description below. Uh, if you'd also like to watch the other Indie Delights, they'll appear somewhere here at the end. Thank you so much for joining me again. Until the next Indie Delight, always take care. Bye.